Hey everybody, I'm Gunnar Rolla and I'm here today with... And from Montreal Food Knob. And today we're taking you on a culinary journey from old to new, traditional to modern. We're yeah. trying Vietnamese food two different ways. Woo! So we're gonna start at Pho Lin, an institution in Toronto. You know it's good when you walk in and it's mostly Vietnamese people sitting there eating and slurping it. And then we head over to Viet Bao, which means... Chubby duck, because boy, we're about to get chubby. <laughs> we're gonna try a modern take on some Vietnamese staples. Let's go! If you're having good Vietnamese food, when you walk into the place, you should be able to smell it right away. The overwhelming smell of spices, unmistakable fish sauce smell, they're not holding back. Quite simply, Vietnamese food is about adapting local ingredients to different cultures. Hi, my name is Jason, and I'm uh, right now the owner of the, the Pho Linh restaurant. From Vietnam, we already have the restaurants, basically, and then when all the family move here, and we started to do the business again. We just changed the name into Lin, name after my aunt, and uh, we start from there. Okay, we got quite a food spread here. We have pho, bung ba, pork chops, and grilled chicken with vermicelli. Is this normal for two people, or? Totally. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we also got the XL bowls here. They're very big, bigger than your head, I think. So, where should we start? The pho. We should try the broth first. Okay. It looks divine. It's clear, just a little rim of fat. Oh. oh. <laughs> so much depth. I wouldn't add anything to this broth. No, it's perfect. All right, so let's try the noodles. Mm. Perfect texture. So flavorful, so fresh, so clean. What you want in Vietnamese food is lots of contrasting texture. So you bite, you chew, you drink, you slurp, you chew again, and then you're full. Some of my favorite activities. Okay, next dish, what is this? Bong Ba Hue. Ooh, this one is close to my heart because my mom is from Hue, which is the central part of Vietnam. This soup is slightly spicier, as you can tell from the color. <laughs> Oh, it's got a kick. It's got a kick. Do you feel the lemongrass? I do. It's very spicy, but has this freshness. The noodles are very different too. Next dish, pork chop, broken rice. Tell me about this. Oh, it's just slightly caramelized on the grill. So you have this charcoal love, and usually it comes with a little bit of a, you know, garlic marinated with fish sauce and all the yadi la yadi lada. You're gonna find this amazing. Oh, and you got the piece of fat. Whoa. <laughs> What do you think? That's amazing. Okay, last dish. Very traditional street food. Grilled chicken with vermicelli. Mm. So you have to drizzle it in fish sauce first. Okay, love it. We got the contrasting textures between the noodles and the bean sprouts. Mm. I think it's time for the baby bird to become the mother. Oh, thank you. <laughs> The concept of Vip Bao, it's sort of like a modern take on Vietnamese food. People that are in Vietnam now are doing very different things, and I think that's really cool. And we don't see that here at all. And I wanted to take Vietnamese food in Toronto outside of that time capsule, outside of 1974, and bring it back to the modern age, what people are doing now in Vietnam. Okay, this <gasps> smells incredible. It smells sacky, yeah. crispy, yeah. salty. What is that? It is tom rang mui. My mom says the best part is the head, so it makes you smarter. So you gotta eat the shell and the head. Mm. Mm. So much flavors, so much fat, so much crunch. Okay, next dish. Bok bok wings. All right, cheers. Cheers. Isn't it delicious? Oh, what I love too about this food, it's like, snack size, you can order a bunch of different things because I get so sick of just having one entree. All right, I am so excited about this. Everybody knows Gunnarola loves a flat rice noodle and that's what we got. What is this dish? Bokbako, beef stew. So I noticed this is not brothy. Like, what happened there? The noodle soaked up all the stew. Oh. So all the so goodness. All those flavors. Okay. Here you go, Gunnarola. I want some of the noodle. Okay. This is friendship. Mm, 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 mm. Do you like it? That beef just like breaks apart in your mouth. The noodle, so full of flavor. Oh my god, you have to have some. Oh, it's spicy. Mm, a little, got a little kick. This is literally like a beef bourguignon, Vietnamese style, mm. with noodles. Mm. This thing is called ban seo, so Vietnamese pancakes. But it's like 2018 because it's not messy. Oh, perfect. Love this crispy outside. Is this tofu? Yeah, you got fried tofu. Oh. And I feel like the fish sauce is essential. You can't have this without. Oh, you can't. 
We are nothing without fish sauce. All right, we spent a good amount of time here. We came in, the sun was setting, it's almost gone. This is like the perfect date spot. Yes. Are we dating now? No. So between a more authentic spot and a more modern spot, do you have a preference or does it just kind of depend on the day? I can't say this on camera. <laughs> My family will come after me. <laughs> and since I have no stakes in this, I will have to say they both have their place. Go authentic in the morning, go modern at night. Oh, and remember to exercise in the middle. I love it. Yeah. You don't choose. That was awful, though. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs>